Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the hardest... The hardest pick so far that we've ever experienced in the Vintage Cube. There's no stipulation here. But we have Soul Ring and the Consecrated Sphinx. Everyone knows that the Soul Ring is the correct pick. Everyone knows it. But in my heart, I just want Consecrated Sphinx. But we're going to take the Soul Ring. Time Twister and Fractured Identity. Fascinating. I don't care about Time Twister, to be honest. Unless we get, like, Leovold and Narset. Fractured Identity seems strong. But, like... Maybe we do get Leovold. Maybe we do get Narset. I mean, Sol Ring's not great with either of them. Fractured Identity it's good with, though. We did just draft Blue-White. I don't know what to do. It's a very grounding experience watching you play. It means I can never complain about getting mana screwed ever. My heart goes out to you. I imagine it's incredibly frustrating. Stay strong. I, you know, I say this a lot, but I always think it's like, I always think it's like, for me, it's confirmation bias where I'm like, maybe I'm just looking to get mana screwed and then I'll just get mana screwed. But then like, when you guys notice it as much as I do, like, it definitely helps. It definitely, in my head, I'm like, okay, good. I'm not crazy. It's not just like random. It's not just like me thinking that it's happening more than it is. You know, it definitely happens a lot. And uh, I think I feel a little bit more sane every single time you guys notice. I like Deceiver Exarch, but I think I like Miscalc better. No, it's not just you. The internet's actually hot trash right now. I'm going to actually stop the stream and restart it. I'm going to see if I can change my settings. Hold on one second, guys. Well, you know, it's not stopping, but. Hmm. Anything good here? It's still. Are we still live? Because I hit the stop streaming button and it's still going, so. Uh, this thing is just not terribly good. It could just be looter. Wow, you guys are real far behind if you guys are just seeing the Soul Ring pick. Anyway, let's go to settings. Let's go to Miami. We'll see if that... Let's go to Atlanta. I'll just take a look. I don't think it's exciting. I like Thief of Sanity. I also like Gideon. Hmm. Yep, this is... I <laughs> could not... Yeah, this doesn't seem to be any better, unfortunately, but what can you do? Are you just blue-white again? I'm really tired of blue white, but it's just oblivion ring. Sure, I'll take an oblivion ring. Oh, Teferi? Alright, now I feel a little bit better about our, our fair blue white deck. This is like a turn three Teferi with Soul Ring. Oh, and an Elspeth? Jeez. Alright. Well. Yeah, you said my stream just went down and came back up. I said I was going to. I actually said I was going to stop the stream and restart it because I wanted to see if I could change locations. But um, I'm not surprised you guys didn't hear me say that. So I actually changed the... Uh, the location was automatic, and now I changed it to uh, Atlanta. But I don't know if that's going to make a difference because I can't tell if it's my end or Twitch's end. It's either Solemn or, or Elspeth. I think Solemn might be better here. Because we don't know what we're playing yet. Yeah, this does seem better, so 
we'll see. Hopefully you guys are... I think it's just sour because we're definitely blue. We might be splashing the white. We could also take Savannah, but I don't think Bant is really... He says before an Edric. Look, and now we're going to get Sword of Fire and Ice, and it's just like we're playing the last deck all over again. I mean, I, th I still think Sword is probably the pick here. Okay, I'm glad this is better. I'm glad this helped. I mean, it looks like it's still not perfect, but... Whatever. Sword is good. Jitte is good. I like a Johnny, too. With no fixing, I'm probably just taking a Jitte in hopes of getting a Stoneforge Mystic. Wow, Angel of Serenity, huh? <sighs> None of these cards are any good. None of these cards are any good. Oh, Nahiri. Okay. I feel like we're kind of Jeskai. No one pronounces my name that way, no. I have no idea why they would do that unless they lacked basic spelling comprehension. Avacyn or Lightning Helix? I feel like Avacyn is the stronger card and it also doesn't commit us to red, so... Ha 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 ha! Oh, beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful day. I will take a lotus. Sphinx is better than Soul Ring? <laughs> Yikes. Goat Napper might be the best magic card of all time. Oh, we did get the Leovold. Jeez. But we didn't take Time Twister, boys. Scarab God is good. Coalition Relic is real good. What if Leovold comes back? Let's take the Relic and cross our fingers that that Leovold comes back. Grandmaster for time walk? We don't even have time walk though. Shouldn't we get time walk before we get Grandmaster? This guy. Oh, you're getting a next pack? Wow, you just lied to me. Unless you mean the next next pack we open. I do like an impulse. I would take Control Magic, but we got Soar and we got Fractured Identity. Let's just take Impulse here. Soul Ring is not even Power 9. Pfft. Might as well be.
Dude, can you imagine if we actually open a time walk though, and then Oral's like the prophet? Django, Django. Treasure Cruise Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is actually a legit card. Could just take Celestia Signet, but we got a lot of fixing right now. With, or uh, ramp rather with Black Lotus Soaring, Coalition Relic. Could take Badlands. Like I feel like cards like Ramunap Excavator and Fairgrounds Warden and like, like they just shouldn't be in here. I think Spell Pierce is pretty strong. Let's just take Spell Pierce. Uh, I usually put Lotus in sideboard because I sometimes count it as a land. So, I mean, I also have a Jitte. I like Brazen Barber a lot, actually. Here, I'll just put it over here for you guys. There we go. Now everybody wins. That's Brazen Barber. Hi, show love and all that. Click clicky. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Ooh, Sphinx's Revelation? That's interesting. What is Enlightened Tutor getting? Lotus, Solemn, Relic, nothing great. I mean, honestly, Sphinx's Rev seems like the pick here, which is weird, but... Council's Judgment? I like a Council's Judgment. But this is another situation where we have, like, no fixing. And we're just going to end up with double blue cards and double white cards. And it's just like, where's all the friggin' lands, man? Like, we're barely... Well, I guess we're white. We have Oblivion Ring, Archangel. It's still the best card in this pack, ironically. Wall of Omens kind of sucks. Like, if I'm going to play white, I'm going to play the Council's Judgment. Didn't Tarantino not didn't didn't isn't Tarantino not making any more movies after Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because it's his tenth film and he's just like that's where he wants to end it? I thought that was the case. I think I want Needle Spires just because it's fixing, right? Uh I have not seen Kingsman. Let's see if we can name them all. There's more dogs. What are we taking? Let's take Needle Spires. Land tax. This pack's pretty bad. Take Night of Autumn. We don't know where we're going to be. Oh, Soulfire Grandmaster. Huh. of St. Traft again. God, we're just blue-eyed Chions again. Yeah, I still seem to think it seems great here. Mox Pearl and Jace the Mind Sculptor? Shit. All right, so I got Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jack Brown, Kill Bill, Kill Bill 2, and Glorious Bastards, Django, Once Upon a Time. Missing two. I didn't consider Death Proof one of his, but I guess it is. Uh, 
And I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's nine. Okay. Yeah, this pack's nuts. If any of these three come back, I mean, we're just taking mocks for obvious reasons, but. Snapcaster, are you good with, what are you good with here? Good with Fractured Identity. Good with Miscalc, Impulse, Spell Pierce. Jason Wheel, yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's just Snapcaster here. Cynics. Oh, three and a Teferi? Oh, and a Treachery? Good lord. What are we talking about Space Jam for? Is this real? Are you guys seriously having a Space Jam discussion? It's either Tefri or Treachery. And we also have no fixing, keep in mind. Our, our most fixing is like... Coalition Relic. But I also don't think we've seen Hollowed Fountain, Tundra, Flooded Strand, or Colonnade, or Sea Chrome Coast. I don't think we've seen any fixing, so... You know. I'm gonna go with Tefri here. Maybe the Treachery comes... Oh, Narset. Interesting. This seems like more of a Narset deck. Also, Balance. Are you playing Nahiri? Karn seems good, actually. I think I like Karn better than Narset here. Especially because it's a win con. Win con. There's a Pestermite, and we just passed the Splinter Twin. Is Emrakul anything in this deck? No, right? We don't have Sneak Attack. We don't have Through the Breach. We don't have... We have nothing. I'm just going to take Pestermite. Um, are we good on card advantage? We do have Nahiri. Fascinating. Actually, maybe it is Thirst here. Yeah, let's just take Thirst. Oh, Force of Negation is interesting. We're unfortunately not an opposition deck. Yeah, I'll take a Force. Torrential Gear Hulk. Are we a Torrential Gear Hulk deck? See, this is also throwing off my mana counts, because now I'm like 25 cards in the deck, sure. I mean, as far as card draw, we have Sphinx, Looter, we have Impulse. Teferi draws us a card. Teferi. Like, I mean, I don't think our card advantage is terrible. What is this guy getting back here? Fractured identity. No. Sorcery? Yeah, okay. Arid Mesa would be great if I if I knew I was gonna get a thing. If I knew there was a tundra or a hollowed fountain in the next pack. Thank you. Gregus, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I don't see any reason to splash red. Our our mana's probably gonna be terrible as is. It's gonna take click here. Sun Titan. Sun Titan's actually pretty decent. It might be better than Torrential Gear Hulk in this deck. Day of Judgment could be good. All right. Again, we're blue white. I apologize, guys. I don't wanna. I don't wanna keep running out blue white nonsense. It's just mono blue white Chions over here. We also need like five cuts here. I don't even like Celestia Signet if we're not playing Knight of Autumn. I don't think we're a Geist of Saint Traff deck. Not playing Nahiri. 
take a brainstorm, but we're not playing it. It's only one of, one of these. What can we get back? Click. Relic if it dies. O-ring if it dies. Borrower. Soulfire Grandmaster can go. Actually, don't do anything here. Small Tef. Uh, probably Avacyn or Baneslayer can go. Oh, Pestermite. Oh, Inspiring Vantage. And Stirring Wild would go with our Celestia Signet. I'm going to cut the Signet. This curve is something. Definitely cutting one of these. I think it's probably Avacyn. Check out one of these two. Let's do some math here. Things that Sun Titan gets back that are actually likely to be in the graveyard. Things that Torrential Gear Hulk gets back. Impulse, Thirst. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, and we have Snapcaster. Let's get rid of Torrential Gear Hulk. And this is 22, we're gonna play Mox Lotus, and then 16 lands. Really? Uh, yeah, actually 9-7 seems fine, especially with Mox. All this, all this mana. Still can't, still can't Vendillion click here. Oops. Oh, we're not playing first. <sighs> Seems good. Well, now we can, I guess. No, it's definitely it's definitely Spell Pierce because Spell Pierce actually prevents them from doing things, whereas like none of these other cards actually benefit my hand in any way. Main phase Vampiric Tutor. Did you search for a land? Tendrils, Putrid Imp, Preordain, Ancestral Vision. Hmm. Let's get rid of Preordain. I mean, it's just a... We're just drawing you the card. Preordain, Ancestral Vision, Putrid Imp, and this. So we know you have two cards in whatever card we drew you. Do I even care? Do I want Fractured Identity of Putrid Imp? Like, I'd rather Fractured Identity of Course of a Portal whenever that comes down. But being that they're playing, uh, like, some kind of storm nonsense, I really feel like getting rid of this guy is probably correct. I guess they're like storm with, like, a reanimation package. Oh, 
Oh, demonic tutor. Wow. They would never see Fractured on the Incoming, though. That's true. And they still won't. Actually, I'm going to play Impulse here. Except I'm going to use white and blue because I want to keep up the max amount of mana in case we hit like Tefri or something. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We could just get Baneslayer and play it, which I think is correct. We really want to hit Teferi here so I can lock out this Ancestral Vision. That would be pretty nice. Oh, we just won the game. Okay. Yeah, everything seems fine. We are doing the sad march to the end of Holiday Cube. Miscalc seems real good. So does Impulse. All right. I assume Theros Limit will be good. Jeez. Yikes. I say yikes for me, dog. Uh, I would probably pick Oko. I think I would enjoy Cube year round, but I also think that if they had that, it would really uh, affect the ability, um, the, like the sales of new sets. Like, I probably wouldn't draft Theros nearly as much if the Cube was up. Like, that's just... Oh, Force of Negation seems pretty good. Oh my god. Yeah, Oko does too much on its own. Coercive portal. I don't have a way to steal that, so I'm just gonna do one of these jobbies. Clearly, you have miscalculated. <laughs> oh, we can just keep passing here. We don't really need the Solemn on board, and I'd rather not pitch either of these guys for for force, plus we get force, we can just keep force up and we also get snapcaster miscalc or snapcaster impulse.
Yeah, you might say bizarre in a storm deck is bizarre. Um, is Karn better than Thirst? Thirst, we can discard Solemn and still keep up Force of Negation. Karn is just a engine, though. I think it's actually Karn. That's pretty good. That was actually exactly what we wanted to hit. Jeez. Because now we can just keep up force. Jeez, that's real good. One, two, three, four, five, puts them to 13. Next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they activated the Bizarre once and discarded Damnation Mold Drifter. Three, four, five. Sure. Well, they get four free mana next turn. And we'll have six power. Nine power if we brazen borrower. Oh, wow. So they go to three cards here. feel like that. Okay, we just win the game. Bolas of Citadel is a hell of a drug. Jeez. Alright, well. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I will keep. Well, biscuits. Sphinx is rev, huh? All right, let's impulse here. Shardless agent, what are you hitting? Demonic tutor, wow, that's gas. <laughs> the banning of Oko and Lattice make it seem like modern is the Internet Explorer formats. Oh, glad, finally glad of you to catch up. I'm 
nice of you to join us. Um, I feel like it's just Snapcaster here. One, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. Sphinx's revs looking good now. Turn this fan off. It's getting a little chilly, guys. It's getting a little chilly. okay with it. Ooh, I like Teferi. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can go Fractured Identity. Yeah, we're just taking Teferi. Do we Council's Judgment this? Oh, is it Florida, man? It's 30 degrees here. What is it here? Let's figure it out. It is currently 73 degrees. Ooh, it's chilly, man. I mean, I want them to draw a card because of Leovold, right? We target it, they draw a card, then it resolves, then we get the Leovold. But, that being said... I still think it's worth it. Because then we just get to draw a card if they like have a way to deal with the old. Oh yeah, totally frigid. Yeah, dude, it's... I gotta put some thick socks on. Oh man, they go for the third of their own Leovold. I will use that ability. I have not figured out the U-Haul versus Mover situation yet, unfortunately. I think my biggest problem is that I want to get scammed. You know what I mean? Like... I don't want movers to be like, yeah, it's going to be 400 bucks. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to have to like go through five different moving companies to get like the best rate. I know you have it at the Pro Tour, but have you re have you be have you really become famous if you haven't done a Raid Shadow Legends? I don't even know what that is. So I guess not. I guess I have not. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. Oh, like I could bounce Baleful Strix, but I really don't want to because it just seems bad. Like they draw an extra card, and ain't nobody, ain't nobody got, ain't nobody got time for that. Did I play a land yet? I played an island.
We could just plus calm. We could just plus Tefri, I guess. Why didn't we lead with 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 the other guy? Oh, because we want to see what we draw here, I guess. What's the other card? Coalition Relic. Okay. Ooh, Instant Speed Council's Judgment is nice. What up, Thwok? Desden Pro, what is what is uh what does the former military person uh have to do with that? Just curious, because I'm not seeing the connection. Oh, we moved a lot. Okay, that makes total sense then. Yeah, okay. I was like, wait, where's the connection there? I know you're not just saying it, but I wasn't sure like what the what the connection was. I got a council's judgment. I could also just bounce that dude with Tarifi. Snapcasters and Shardless agents in the graveyard. Okay. Man, I wish I can get back my fracturing identity. Fractured identity, not fracturing. Oh, we could bounce this dude and then Vendillion click it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. They're going to give us some planes. So sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we have 11 mana, we can actually play this guy, get Snapcaster back, and then Fracture Identity. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're only three lands away, guys. Let's just bounce this. I can O-ring this, actually. That seems even better. One, two... So now our Tefri is just like so safe. Making sure we did it all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm What a time to be alive is right. God, Tefri's so ridiculous. It's like, I'm just going to play this, and you can't really counter it or anything, so. Yogmoth, Time Twister, Scarab God. Wow. I think we're just getting rid of Scarab God here. That's a hell of a hand, though. So Demonic Tutor was revealed from Shardless. Scarab God we just took. So we need to have Swamp Swamp Twister, Yogg Will. We Yogg Will. I mean, I don't know. If you want to Twister here. We both essentially draw two. You go down to four, so you draw three, but then we would draw two. And we have two Planeswalkers, a click, and more mana. One, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Yep. Frasca. So you just kill this or this, get back your Baleful Strix. Is it any? Return a permanent and an opponent controls. Yep, that's pretty bad. I 
I just feel like we're so far ahead on board that like I don't need to be worrying about Novraska. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Used you, used you, okay. And now we get to keep up Council's Judgment? That's pretty cool. I feel like we're doing well. What do I know? Infinite black low tide, just as Garfield intended. It's true. significant amount of time to top there. Oh, Bolus's Shitadel. Turnabout. I'm gonna get rid of Bolus of Citadel now. <laughs> Ulamog. Yep, that's pretty scary. Yep, stream has been having issues today. I assume it's internet related, but what can you do? I mean, you get rid of these two, and then I still have these guys on board. We get rid of Oblivion Ring and Sun Titan. Sure. That's pretty good. That's a yikes for me, dog.
Well, I don't actually know if my internet's fine. I have no idea. Lion's Eye Diamond. Second main. Oh, dear God. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we're just dead to Ulamog. This has to be two real good hits. Oh, Jesus. Yep. That's incredible. Are you doing any pre-releases? Probably not. I got a move coming up. I don't really have money to, to spend on pre-releases, unfortunately. Or fortunately. I mean, I'll do them online. I'll probably stream some and what have you, but I'm not going to go to any paper pre-releases. Thank you. Oh, Spaghetti Toucher, welcome back. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Somebody touch my spaghetti! I appreciate it, my dude. Wow. I, just, I think we're so far ahead and then we just lose to an Ulamog. It's pretty brutal. You're not on a delay. My stream is just dropping frames infinitely because... <sighs> Comcast is trash. Well, my speed test is 104 down, so that's good. Let's see what we got up. I'll keep this hand. If we can draw Soul Ring, can you imagine? <laughs> it wouldn't even check the upload speed. Wow. Megabytes up, it didn't even test it. That's hilarious. So, yeah, probably not great. Sorry, guys, for, for those watching the stream. His opponent, opponent's name is Tony Scapone. Um, well, the thing is, like, most of my streams, like, I'll record the beginning. I'll, obviously, uh, you can hear me begin and end each video on YouTube. So, like, for all the drafts I do on stream, I just record those. And they go up on the, on the tubes of you. It just sounds weird. So, I just have to, like, upload those, make thumbnails for them, label them. Do all that jazz. And then every Wednesday I have an article on cool stuff that goes up. I usually write that on Monday. So I'll be writing that after the stream tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I want to just bounce this because it turns them back. And also, like, I want to be able to play Raisin Bar or so. Soul Ring. Dang it, Soul Ring. Does MTG's as a job ever get tiring? Yeah, it definitely does. There's definitely times where, like, that's why, like, at the end of seasons, like, it's really exhausting. I'm just like, I don't have it in me to do another Dominaria draft or another Throne of Eldraine draft. Like, I just don't have it in me. So I'm, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel looking for, like, different things to, like, post about, you know? I'm like, okay, maybe I'll do this format. Maybe I'll try this format. Like, I'm just looking for the variety because, like, boy, is it exhausting. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can go Council's Judgment Teferi. That seems really good. Also, Teferi with Sphinx's Rev. Chef's Kiss right there, my dudes.
Frank was happy about the modern bands, by the way, before anyone asks. It's true. Most bands I'm happy about. There's never been... I think there... I can't even remember the last time there was a card that I was like, I'm so disappointed that I can't play with this busted card anymore. Because I think magic should be based on fairness, not who's doing the most broken shit. Because, like... <coughs> I think I like the skill level to magic more than I like, you know, racing to the to the busted shit level, if that makes sense. Like, if it's two players playing fair decks, then I think it's more often than not going to come down to play skill. Like, the better player is going to win, because you're going to have more opportunities to outplay your opponent. But if you have all these unfair cards, then it's like, whoever is drawing or doing the most unfair thing first... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Do I sneak a zero for five here? It seems pretty good, but if they time twister, it's just for nothing. But if they time twister, it's for nothing anyway, right? So. What about Golgari Grave Troll? Destiny Trigger, I agree with you. If a format is the same two to three busted decks all the time, it stops being interesting. I agree with that. I think when you take out the innovation and variety in formats, then it just becomes uh, rock, paper, scissors format, and then it's like. Okay, well, I mean, you can... There's there's definitely ways to play around and, like, metagame and outplay people, but it's just not as fun for me. Might as well do it. I mean, like, the reason we, we wouldn't, wouldn't do it is because if they time twister, but if they time twister, we're losing this anyway. And we could draw Force of Negation, which was my hope, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if they play a land, they'll have 7. They can go 1, 2, 3, 4 with Invisible Land. Float 3. Untap their lands, they'll have 7. So that doesn't do it. I guess we do have Sower and Miscalculation. Oh, a sarcasm about the troll? Wow. But I also enjoy unbannings, too. Like, when a card has been banned, especially, specifically for modern, right? The reason, like, cards are being unbanned in modern, or, or you know, when, whenever they are, is because they weren't ever played. Like, you unban Stoneforge Mystic because you banned it from the onset of the format, so it's... So you actually don't know its power level. So it's exciting because it's new. And then you unban a card like Golgari Grave Troll, and then you're like, oh, wait, this card is still busted. Let's let's put it back in the let's put it back in prison you know i feel like they're gonna turn about here they're both of their blue is gone and they're deciding which ones to use yep okay zoobity bop ski beep boo boo i don't want you to do that That's interesting. Bell Pearson Solemn. Giving me Solemn. Keep up miscalc. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're gonna rage here. That's fine. They all they will log me last game. I don't care. Like we have currently three answers to Ulamog, so I'm not really <laughs> Oh man, the post miscalculation land. Brutal.
six, seven, eight, nine. Do we have any way to deal two more damage? I don't think so. I don't want to let them play it, right? Like, I feel like there's a big risk to letting them have it on board. Oh, I just didn't untap lands. <laughs> I was just clicking through. Doesn't matter. We have all we have all the things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. <clears throat> Twister. Yep. Snapcaster irrelevant. Vendillion click is nice. If they tap out to play anything here, we're just gonna Vendillion click. I'm gonna use a bathroom after this round. I mean this puts two more answers still in our hands, so I'm okay with it. Oh, they just concede. Okay. I mean, they're dead on board to three creatures, so. Oh, and we just draw a lotus. Okay. Okay. It's tempting to bring in wear tear for their their signet or their thing. Like, we can splash it off of, like, Needle Spire's Inspiring Vantage Coalition Relic. I'm also going to feed these pets after this round. I think we're fine, though. I also don't think we have enough power. I could definitely use a Time Walker and Ancestral as well. One, one, two, three. Eh. This is a turn one looter. Into a turn two solemn, into a... Yeah, this hand is probably the best we can ask for. Cast you. Let's play this. Cast you. Cast you. <clears throat> oh, actually, it's turn two Baneslayer if we hit another white source. One, two, three, four. Wow, that's pretty good. Jesus. Okay. You can work at night, my friend. Yep, that's pretty good. Leobold. Demonic Tutor. D -d 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 D toots. What do you mean? What do you mean? Whatever happened to it? Like. Nothing happened to it, it just... It still exists in the world. One, two, three. I think we just play Manslayer here. I mean, having Thirst of One Land is fine. Like, we can find a second land in the next five cards that we draw, four cards that we draw. Send them on down to Rat Train. 
Have you ever been outside and got to call on the red train? <laughs> that gets me every time, man. Two, three, four. Damnation? Damnation would be good. We haven't had that many creatures, though. I mean, we have creatures, I guess. Oh, just a Karn. Interesting. Which do I give you? Well, we have these two. Whichever we give you, you're never getting the other one back. I feel like we have more ways to counter an upheaval. And Leovil kind of gets in our way. And if also, if you just want to go one, two, three, four, if you go this, you could play your land and then play Mox Jet next turn. Like, we get to go. Doop, doop, doop. That's... Uh, choose a card. The chosen card will put in your hand. You can have the upheaval. Hmm. One, two, three. Let's thirst. You're looking thirsty. Two, three, four, five. I guess we're just discarding the two lands here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, gonna bounce Karn. If they want to replay their Karn, that's totally fine with me. If they want to go land upheaval, only play Mox Jet, like, that's also fine, because we get to start with, like, four mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We also have ten cards, and we can drop three of them, so we'd have to discard one thing. That was another reason why I put the Brazen Bar over here, because it's like, well, Yogmoth's will. Yog will specifically for a go for the throat? Wow, that's aggressive. Black Lotus, check in and see, I've got a Lotus of a hundred and three. I still want to use I still want to use this because no uh, this because if we draw something I want to be able to use the mana to play it and it still keeps up brazen borrower mana. This doesn't do anything, but it does. Oh, interesting. Do you just play Karn? No, because we can float mana and then play brazen borrower at instant speed. Yeah, that seems good. Hot blooded, hot blooded. So we know they have mox upheaval in hand. Yeah, we hide the up. Oh, yeah, because if we play Lotus, there might be un less likely to play upheaval. Hmm. Well. Wow. 
Oh, they got Leovold. Look at them. So now we know they have Leo in hand. Um, so one, two, three, four, we can, we, we can't keep up Brazen Borrower and Karn, which is the problem. I'm pretty sure we just kill the Karn here. We can put them to four, but like, it doesn't kill them. If you guys ever want to know where Mike is, oh, I see your Kappa. Never mind, I'm good. I accidentally joined a Pioneer prelim for tonight, not tomorrow. It hasn't started. Yeah, you, if you drop it, your ticks back. Yes, as Rob told you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is four. I want to keep up five because I want to go brazen bar or bounce something. Like we just don't have to play anything here. If you ever want to know where Mike is and he's not on stream. Assume he's working because he's an adult with a full-time job. Oh boy, we upheavaling. Oh, we're turnabouting first. Turning about first, if you will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is... This is interesting. I take back nothing bad I've ever said about you. Wow. I mean, they only have two blue, so they can't play Leovold. Five, six, seven. All right. Like there's no way they're gonna have that. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they can only play a they can only play a green or a a blue. So they don't get a, a they don't get, they can't get a, a third blue outside of upheaval and a green. They can only get one or the other. So that's never happening. Plus this is only seven mana, and then they get to replay land Vox, so it's only nine mana. So they only get three mana left over. So they can time twist, but then we just get to play brazen borrower in response. Bounce their mocks so that goes away. Upheaval. Okay. Float a million. I guess we just cast Brazen Bar, right? Go for the throats exiled. If we bounce this, they can always tap it and then replay it, get another mana. I mean, if they went to main phase two, they'd lose the black they had floating, so they're not gonna, like. We're definitely casting 3 1. I'm just trying to figure out. If we bounce this, I don't think there's any value to bouncing it. <clears throat> sure. All right, so they lost the one black. We lost basically nothing. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, five. Play this. Three, four, five, six mana. I 
I kind of like Oblivion ringing the Mox Jet and then just playing Teferi. Uh, what are we bouncing here? We can just bounce like nothing. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not? Get an excess blue. So now they have two turns to deal with this guy. And now they have like swamp, swamp, island in hand, I guess. Um, I think it is just force even though we can't like cast it here alright well <laughs> I don't know upheaval seemed better for us here do you feel like wizards should make a card that counters planeswalker ultimates no not really because it happens so infrequently and you work so hard to get them I've actually talked about this before like if you can think of all the games you've had where a Planeswalker ultimated, it's probably less than 5% of games. And I think that's even being super generous. Plus, like, you work so hard to get to the ultimate. Like, no one's going to play the card is the problem. You're never going to board in a card that that counters an ultimate because you can literally just bring in a card that deals with the Planeswalker itself instead. And then you don't have to wait, like, three or four turns for it to happen. And, like, it's hard because emblems aren't a card that's interactable in the game so like you know oh what up chris currently 2-0 at this deck i think the difference in decks that have power and don't have power is just night and day i think you can really have a strong vintage cube deck that doesn't have power in it but against the decks that do have power in it you're just gonna fall flat because they're just able to execute their plan so much faster than you <laughs> like this did you get chicken tendy sub no I actually I'm a bigger fan of the of, I just like turkey subs it might be the sound of the rat train in the distance I don't hear any background noise but like do we just wait to play this on turn 2 or do we crack our lotus specifically for relic That's a dude. How dare you? How fucking dare you, Caspi? I'm real tempted to just drop Lotus into Coalition Relic. But, like, this is just going to net us as much mana as this will. Like, if we play this now, we get to activate it. Next turn, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. But we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 if we just keep Lotus. And we can just play this naturally next turn, so. I'm okay with it. Because, like, now we can actually play Relic and bounce their bird, which seems pretty good. And then we have six mana next turn. Dude, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Okay. Two little shitbirds. We're definitely bringing in Wrath of God. Sometimes I want to say it, because if I verbalize it, I can remember that we played against something that I would need it for. One, two, three, four, five. Play this. One, two, three. I'm just going to steal their bird, because I have nothing else going on in my life. Courser of Crucifix. They always have Corsair of Crucifix. Wall of Roots? Nobody cares about that. Damn, boy, he thin. <laughs> That's a thin-ass boy. Boop, 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 boop. 
I'm just like casually sandbagging a lotus in my hand. Well, that's not bad. One, two. Okay, so we're just gonna play this. Get him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can have eleven mana next turn. This format's something else, man. Get him. <clears throat> I'll take one. They have one card in hand? Oh, wow. I feel a lot better now. Come on. Five Teferi. Oh, actually, no. Let's be smart about this. Let's use this bird. Cast it. Cast the bird. And we'll <clears throat> charge this bad boy up. Okay, well, I accept that. Can you imagine if we get ourselves in a position where we have to discard Mox Opal? Or <laughs> Black Lotus, rather? I mean, Mox Opal is in the brain. <clears throat> he got Mox Opals on the brain. That's fine. Forced into play from the hand. Okay. Oh, so now they're going to play their last card. Deranged Hermato. Okay. Well. It's a lot of power. We're dealing six and six. It's pretty good. Can you imagine? Jeez. No respect. Looting away the Lotus is just the most disrespectful thing you can do. Okay, well, I'm going to add a white, and then I'm going to pass. I have such faith in drawing something that I'm going to attack with everybody. How many times did you say you passed a Coalition Relic? Um, not frequently. It just, it just holds so many strategies together. I'll discard... Yeah. Do you just get rid of the deranged hermit? Like, they have no cards in hand. They're gonna pay for this. And even though we can get rid of a score, like, yeah, they're paying for this for sure. We're just gonna get rid of the deranged hermit. Hope they don't top deck like nature's claim, I guess. So now they have five damage. And our, our clock is just so much faster. The answer is never pass. Like, are you are you ac uh what's the word I'm looking for? Advocating never to pass the coalition relic? Or are you saying I never do? Ooh, that's a big, that's a big fat idiot. Well, advocation, no breathing. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Well, well, here we are. Hope they don't have a way to deal two extra damage next turn. Some might say it was greedy to attack with the sower, but I wouldn't.
I like Jitte here. <laughs> Oh, Day of Judgment. Remember I said it out loud? That's why I remembered. Because I said it out loud. I kind of don't think Force of Negation is great. The only card we could have countered was Garrick. Did you see the original Tron? God, yes, but it's been a while. It's been a while since I heard him say about and didn't you. It's been a while. Remember that song? Rob probably does, because that's, dude, that's Rob's kind of music. Rob fucking loves. Uh, radio rock, I guess you can call it. How many subs do I have to buy to get Rob removed from the Discord? There's no amount of subs you can, you can donate to remove my best friend from the Discord, my dude. But I already bought seven. Yeah, well. <clears throat> you know what they say. This hand sucks because where are my power at? That's what they say. Oh, they mulled? Oh. Are we in a 3-0? Are we back in the 3-0 saddle? It's close. <laughs> no, Josh, I meant Josh. I said, did I say Rob? God, I totally meant Josh, dude. I'm sorry. That was real. This is real awkward, dude. Totally meant Josh. All right, you got it. Wall of Fruits can put you in a real awkward position where if, like, they play a spell and you try to counter it and then they let it resolve, if they let Miscalculation resolve in order to pay the mana, you can't actually add a mana with this after that fact. You have to do it before that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're countering that because next turn they're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. And that's just not... I just don't need that kind of negativity in my life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They already have 6 now. Like I'm kind of tempted to just get rid of like Wall of Roots. Which would leave them with 1, 2, 3, 4. I mean this takes out 2 mana. Oh, wow, I can see. Yeah, I can see that. <coughs> I guess that's true. I guess there's really nothing we would need to worry about because, like, we can just wipe away whatever they're going to play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. Oh, and they have one card in hand. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankthepoor, patreon.com slash frankthepoor, youtube.com is where you're watching this, I assume. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And Mana Traders. You can use the link and promo code down below in the description to get 20% off. So check the description of the YouTube video or of twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore and you'll see the Mana Traders link and promo code. Um, so let's, if we thirst, yeah, we're thirsting. I'm thirsty. I mean, the difference is I'm not saying it to my opponent, you know what I mean? Uh, we can get rid of Coalition Relic for sure. Look at the two Teferis and a Relic. Oh, and we just hit Sun Titan. That's pretty cool. It is Day of Judgment, my dudes. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. One in play. One in play. One little elfie boy. Four, 
five. The problem is, oh, Council's Judgment can hit freaking Carnage Tyrant, dude. Oh man, get out of my, get out of my face with that. Just tuck it all. Tuck it all. Last time on Two Teferis and a Relic, young Teferi learns an important lesson about gambling at the local casino. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Tribe. And the next card we know... Whatever. I'm just getting rid of this. Uh, draw a card. Okie dokie. Play a land. So they're going to draw Tribe Elder. Hearing loud noises out there. Do I care about this? Should I just play Sun Titan and get back rel Relic? Probably, right? Does this go two down? Wait, was this one? This one, right? Uh, third from the top. So they drew this. That was the... So it went one, two. So the next card... This is the first. This is the second. The next one is... They're going to draw Steve and... That's not Steve. They're going to draw Sakura Tri Builder and they're going to get Lana or Elf, right? So... Yeah, we're just going to get Coalition Relic back. I did say Steve and it was just... It, it pained me to do so. I feel like a part of me died inside. Next card should be oh, but then I guess I guess they get to they get to crack elder. They get to crack elder. What's what's racist? Oko. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, we draw so many lands, dude. Oh, we just win the game. All right, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankforemanitraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. Let's open our treasure chest. It's a little bonus for you guys. Oh, Evra, Halcyon Witness, and a Calastria Highborn. Thank you guys for watching. Guys, I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to. If you want to get more notifications and see when the things happen, I'll see you later.